Hey everyone, welcome back to Snow Leopard Gaming. I'm Steve Shields and today we've got a bonus video. We're going to be doing a collector booster box of Ikoria. If you guys want to see more of these every set, let me know. Maybe I'll make it a tradition. So we're going to go a little slower on these packs because there's not a bunch and they're very fancy. Alright, we've got them out of the box, and let's start cracking I'm very excited for these. Alrighty, we are starting off with a feather to get us a phoenix. The almighty brushwag, I really like playing him in limited. Got day squad marshal. Keep safe. Wilt. The wingspan mentor. Proud wild bonder. Generic Swamp, and we've got a Glade Muse. Whenever a player casts a spell, if it's not their turn, that player draws a card. That's pretty interesting. Hunted Nightmare Extended Art. We've got Bonder's Enclave in Foil. So you can pay three to draw a card. Activate this ability only if you control a creature with power four or greater. Something tells me that's going to be pretty big in EDH. And we've got our first cool comic book looking card in the Regal Leosaur. And a Vulpakeet, also the comic book style. And a Mythic, Snapdax, Apex of the Hunt. So he's a Mardu boy. He's got Double Strike, and whenever this creature mutates, it deals four damage to a creature or a Planeswalker on opponent controls, and we gain four life. So a bit of a super lightning helix. Ooh, wow, very cool. Got the fancy Godzilla uh, Ghidorah. So we've got our Teamer Legendary here. This one mutates for three, hybrid red-green, blue-blue. It's a 6-6 six, six Flying Trample. Whenever it mutates, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land permanent card. Put that directly onto the battlefield. So that's pretty sweet. I'm probably going to use that as my Teamer EDH Commander. Uh, we've got the Chittering Harvester. Whenever this creature mutates, each opponent sacrifices a creature. And this is that cool, like, comic book style art as well. That was a pretty cool first pack. The second one doesn't want to open. I wonder if it's hiding something good. Ah, oh, duplicate token. What's going on here? Cavern Whisper, Gust of Wind, Frenzied Raptor, Suffocating Fubes. Oh, we got a crystal. It's a nice little Mardu crystal. Good for more casual EDH decks. Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. And an island in foil. Then the twinning staff, if you would copy a spell one or more times instead, copy it that many times plus an additional time. And you may pay seven to copy an instant or sorcery. So I think the passive is going to be a lot better than the activated on that. And we've got a Zirda the Dawn Waker in extended art. Non-foil, but still very cool. Foil rare, eerie ultimatum. So you can return any number of permanent cards with different names from your graveyard to the battlefield. Again, an amazing EDH card. And then we've got Comic Book Pouncing Shore Shark. And the Comic Book Lore Dracus as well. And Gem Razor is our rare. So he is a 4-4 with Reach and Trample. Whenever he mutates, destroy target artifact or enchantment an opponent controls. And here's our Godzilla card, Dorat, the perfect pet. So this is the 1-1 one, one Flying Haste that gets a plus one, plus one counter on it whenever you play a non-creature spell. Very cool. And a foil comic book, Cavern Whisperer. This one's a little bent, but if any of the cards in the pack has to be, that one's not terrible to be the bent one. And pack three coming up. We've got a different token this time, and it's a cat. Uh, no surprise here. I like that. Blade Banish, Essence Scatter. I do like this Essence Scatter art. Survivor's Bond, Spell Eater Wolverine, Polywog Symbiote, Ominous Seas, and a Plains is our land card. All right. If you control a commander, you may cast a spell without paying its mana cost to counter target non-creature spell. That seems pretty good. We've got Mythos of Brokos. Four mana if you, you, if you make this a Soul Tie spell. 
You search your library for a card, put that in your graveyard, then shuffle, and return up to two permanent cards from your graveyard to your hand. So pretty good. Hey, Foil Karuga, very cool. So I play the Jeskai Fires on Arena, and now if I play it in paper, I've got a Foil Karuga to play. Comic book Dream Tale Heron. Trying not to show the last card, but also show the cards I'm holding. Migratory Great Hearn. This one gets you a land whenever it mutates. Oh, we got a, a Full Art Triome. The Jeskai one, conveniently for me. And King Caesar. Fortunately, he's one of the one. He's well. He's the only box topper I've opened so far, and a duplicate already. But you can go right up there with Jadora. And we have an insatiable Hemophage. So whenever this creature mutates, each opponent loses X life, and you gain X life, where X is the number of times this creature has mutated. It's gotten a little out of control in, in some of the limiteds I've run up against, where it'll be draining you for like five. It turns out that's pretty hard to beat. Next pack, our token is a beast. Bushmeat Poacher, Glimmer Bell, Forbidden Friendship, Serrated Scorpion. Ooh, Dire Tactics. That is a good card. It's two mana, an Orzhov, to be specific. Exile target creature. If you don't control a human, you lose life equal to that creature's toughness. But if you do, it's just freebie. Zagoth Mamba, and a Forest is our land card. So maybe a Mountains in the next one? That'd be kind of sweet. Then we hit one of each without duplicating. Although I may have just jinxed it now. So we've got Decoy Gambit. That says, for each opponent, choose up to one target creature that player controls, then return that creature to its owner's hand unless its controller has you draw a card. That's pretty neat as well. Your opponents can't cast spells from anywhere other than their hands. That seems very annoying in EDH and maybe even a sideboard card in Legacy. Oh, we have a foil Jeskai Triome. Very cool. I'm going to put that into the Karuga pile, just in case I build that deck in paper. Got the Auspicious Sterix. This one's really good too. It's like an uncommon version of our Jidora. So whenever this creature mutates, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile X permanent cards, where X is the number of times this creature has mutated. The difference is with this guy is he can hit lands. So it's not quite as good, but that's why he's the uncommon. And a comic book Cavern Whisperer, this time not in foil. And comic book Brokos, Apex of Forever. So he mutates, and he's got Trample, and when you cast him, uh, sorry, you may cast him from your graveyard using its mutate ability. So you can just keep coming back. That's also pretty sweet. And our Godzilla card is Gigan, Gigan? I'm not sure. I'm not as up into Godzilla as maybe I should be for this set. But this is the guy that your deck can only have even converted costs, and when he comes in, each player puts the top four cards of their library into the graveyard, and you get to just put a creature from any graveyard, as long as it's even, onto the battlefield. It's pretty sweet. And foil comic book Necropanther, which, again, it's a cat, so as no surprise, I like this one a lot. Next pack. Another duplicate token. It's a beast. Of one mind. Sleeper Dart, Whisper Squad, Humble Naturalist, Huntmaster Liger, another cat, and Savai Thundermare, an uncommon foil cat. I do like that this set has a bunch of cats. I mean, it has to for that one companion, uh, but it's pretty great. And a mountain, so we did hit foil basic of each before getting any duplicates. All right, this is Nesting Grounds. You can pay one and tap it to move a counter from target permanent you control onto another target permanent. You don't have to control that one, so you can use this for some shady stuff. But you may only do it when you could activate a sorcery. All right, we got Full Art Inspired Ultimatum. Target player gains five life. Inspired Ultimatum deals five damage to any target. Then you draw five cards. This might see playing Commander, but I think it's more of a standard card. Oh, we got a, a Magistrate in foil this time. Maybe we'll find foil extended art and then we can collect them all. Another Vulpakeet in comic book form. Cloud Piercer in comic book form. I really like this one. The art is just super cool. Hey, another Full Art Triome. Very cool. This one, the Sultai one. And we got Baby Godzilla. And I see a Planeswalker behind. Pretty sweet. Baby Godzilla's gonna go up with his friends, and we got the special Luca. 
How cool is this looking? I have actually not seen this one before, so that is pretty exciting. So he'll go up with Ghidorah and King Caesar. Once this pack is finished, we have officially hit halfway. A dinosaur beast is our token. That's a new one. Another cat, Savai Cybertooth. Uh, another, another cat, Patagia Tiger. Really hope I'm pronouncing all these things correctly, but there's some pretty different names, shall we say. Archipelago, nice. And Forest for our first duplicate land. We've got Souvenir Snatchers, 5 mana, or 6 if you mutate. Whenever this creature mutates, gain control target non-creature artifact. That's pretty sweet, because you just get to keep it. Another Magistrate. I don't know what's up with this box and these Magistrates, but I hope he sees playing something, because now I've got a bunch. And Foil Foiler Kogla, the Titanate. This guy goes into this Gigan deck. And turns out he's even to mana cost, so getting him back for free is disgusting. A comic book Dreamtail Heron, and Migratory Greathorn, and another Luca. Very cool. So now we have the full art foil Luca, and just normal full art Luca. And our Godzilla card is Destoria, the perfect life form. One of this creature mutates, create a red artifact token named Feather with one sacrifice feather return target Phoenix card from your graveyard to the battlefield. And you will notice this happens to be a Phoenix. How strange. And foil full art migratory great horn. Next pack is up. This one wants to fight me as well. Another dinosaur beast. Oh, we got the Otter. He's so cute. Thieving Otter, Normal Vulpiki, Convolute, Pacifism, Chittering Harvester, and a Foil Necropanther. Mountain is our basic land for this pack. And we got Nikara, Lair Scavenger. So he partners, has Menace, sorry, she partners, has Menace. Whenever another creature you control leaves the battlefield, if it had one or more counters on it, you draw a card and lose one life. That's pretty sweet. So we don't get the partner with this, so we're going to have to hope it comes in one of these other packs. We've got Mythos of Nethroi. If you spend an Abzan, you can destroy any non-land permanent. Otherwise, it destroys a creature. But either way, it's at instant speed, so pretty good. Ooh, Fall Art Foil Imori. This is a pretty common companion that I've seen on Arena, so I'm sure somebody will be very stoked for this. Put that up here with the good cards. Got Comic Book Cloud Piercer again, Comic Book Huntmaster Liger, and a Cub Warden. Oh, I haven't seen this art of him before, but it's very cool. This is the one that makes 1 1 lifelink cats whenever it mutates. Ooh, we got the Death Corona! Very cool, very on theme for what's going on in the world right now. They are changing this name in future boxes, so if you want it, now is your time to get it. And Foil Fall Art Lord Dracus. That's very cool looking in foil. Wowie wee wow. Next pack, another beast. This is our first third. And we got Thwart the Enemy, Unexpected Fangs. Ooh, Greater Sandworm. I don't have this printing, so that goes in my worm file. Scour Barons, Weaponize the Monsters, Fight as One, and a Forest. Title Barracuda, four mana, mana. Any player may cast spells as though they had flash. Your opponents can't, spell, can't cast spells during your turn, though. So it's kind of like Group Hug, but we get a little bit more. Oh, full Art Eerie Ultimatum to join our Foil Eerie Ultimatum. Ooh, very cool. Foil General Kudro. So this one is an Anthem for Humans, and whenever he or another human enters the battlefield under your control, exile target card from an opponent's graveyard. And then you can sacrifice two humans and pay two mana to destroy target reach with power four or greater. Really good with tokens. Glowstone Recluse in Comic Book. Another Cavern Whisperer, and a Dirge Bat in Comic Book, which we have not pulled yet. This one, whenever it mutates, destroys target creature or Planeswalker and opponent controls. Very, very powerful and limited. Plus, it's a flyer. Oh, and here is King Kaiser, the different version. <laughs> Notice the creature is Dinosaur Nightmare Cat. It's pretty great. And a Foil Dreamtail Heron.
And then next pack is up. We got a dinosaur token. Serrated scorpion. Pyroceratops. Jungle hollow. A phased dolphin. Flourishing fox. Easy prey. And a mountain is our land. Ooh, Surly Badger Soar. I really, really like the name of this card. So whenever you discard a creature card, put a plus one plus one counter on Surly Badger Soar. Whenever you discard a land card, create a treasure token. And whenever you discard a non-creature, not a land card, Surly Badger Soar fights up to one target creature you don't control. That seems like a very cool build around. Full Art Cogla to go with our Full Art Foil Cogla. Labyrinth Raptor. This card is disgusting. It's two mana for a 2-2 two, two Menace. Whenever a creature you control with Menace becomes blocked, defending player sacrifices one of the creatures blocking it. So this makes your Menace creatures disgusting. And it also, for its same mana cost, can pump creatures with Menace that you control. Oh, we got a comic book Trumpeting Nar to go with our three beast tokens. Another Auspicious Sterix. Oh, very cool. So now we have our Jadora version and our comic book version of the Teamer Legendary. Ooh, Foil Fart Baby Godzilla. This is very cool. Got three packs left, ladies and gentlemen. That pack's fighting me too. All right, Cat Token. Got Checkpoint Officer, who's a very annoying limited card, AKA a very good limited card. Facet Reader, Imposing Vantasaur, Tentative Connection, there's Luca and his little kitty boy. Avon Oddity, Titanoth Rex, and an 11 11 with Trample, and a Swamp for our land. So we've got the Species Specialist. It's four mana. As he enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Whenever a creature of the chosen type dies from anyone, you may draw a card. That's pretty sweet. Got another cat. There's Vigilance. Creatures you control Vigilance have one. And tap, tap target creature. So pretty great in limited. Oh, another foil triome. Very cool. This is the Mardu triome. Another Cavern Whisperer. This guy really likes us. Another Chittering Harvester. And another full art triome. The Abzan one this time. Oh, very cool. This is the Titanoth Rex version. So it's Godzilla Primeval Champion. Big boy. And a Foil Fall Art Trumpeting Nar. Very cool. Alright, we've got another Dinosaur Token. Night Squad Commando. Prickly Marmoset. Dismal Backwater. A Gloomy Pangolin. Flamespill. Barrier Reach. And Island is our basic land. This is Dredge the Mire. Four mana. Each opponent chooses a creature card in their graveyard, and you get to put those cards on the battlefield under your control. So if you can combine this with some way to manipulate their graveyard and get rid of all the crappy ones, it's a pretty great card. Another Kogla. I don't know why this monkey boy likes us so much, but that seems fine. Oh my god. Foil Full Art Lurus of the Dream Den. This is for me. This is going into my Pioneer deck. Probably until he gets banned, but oh, this is exactly what I was hoping to get. Parcel Beast in comic book form. Another Lord Dracus and the Everquill Phoenix. This is very cool looking. And Godzilla Doom Inevitable is our Godzilla card. So this is Idaro the Wandering Monster. He's seven mana for an 8-8 Trample Haste, but you can cycle him for one in a red. But the cool thing about him, when you cycle him, he goes back into your graveyard. And then if it's the fourth time you've cycled it this game, not necessarily that card, just a card with that name, you get to cycle it and put it out on the battlefield, which is disgusting. And a foil fall art, Vulpikeet. Last pack. A cat token. We got Honey Mammoth. Swiftwater Cliffs, Wingfold Terron, Aegis Turtle, Exuberant Wolf Bear, Boon of the Wishgiver, and Plains is our basic land. Well, that's cool. We didn't hit any duplicate of the Brawl Deck cards. So it's three mana to add one mana of any color, so it's just better mana lift. And then four and tap. Each player who controls a permanent named Bonders Ornament draws a card. Genesis Ultimatum in full art. So you get to look at the top five cards of your library and put any number of permanent cards from among them onto the battlefield and the rest into your hand. 
So there's kind of an interesting story with this card. I was playing the Brawl FNM event. Uh, I was playing Nico Bolas, but I played up against uh, a deck that was actually this guy. And I thought, oh, cool, it's going to be like a mutate deck, and we're going to have like this fight between a control deck and a creature deck. But no, they, they used Jidora to get out Omniscience and get rid of all but, I think it was like nine cards in their deck, and then they drew their deck until it ran out of cards. I don't. I don't know what the hope was there, but I looked in all the cards that were exiled. There wasn't uh, a Jace the Planeswalker. There wasn't a Thassa's Oracle. I don't know if they planned on winning. I think they just wanted to like cycle through their deck and make you sit there and watch and then give you the win. So it, it, it was definitely an interesting experience. So that's what I'm going to think of when I see Genesis Ultimatum now. Sea uh, Dasher Octopus in Foil. Nice. Migratory Great Horn again. This card also really likes us. And Porky Parrot. Look how muscly this parrot is. Holy pepperoni. Another Sea Dasher Octopus. And this guy also loves us. And a foil, full art, Glowstone Recluse. Well, this was very exciting to open all of these. So we got some crazy cards in this. Uh, these three are probably the favorites that I pulled here. Just such a cool box, such a cool experience. So thank you guys for sticking around. Make sure you subscribe, uh, drop some comments and tell me if you want to see more collector's boxes. Uh, and uh, check out us on Facebook. All the stuff that I'm not stealing from myself will be going up into the shop in the next couple days. So thank you everyone and have a great day.